we now talk about a hyperbolic process so dxt is equal to minus theta xt divided by square root of 1 plus this xt squared dt dwt so this is your drift part and your diffusion is just 1 so you have diffusion is 1 drift part is minus theta times x divided by this to the power of 0.5 is square root and you have 1 plus x square the state variable is x right here time variable is t you're going to solve for x initial value of x I'm going to give as 0.5 and this theta is a constant so you have to give it a value so uh, we are going to then simulate the model m1 this is the model m1 we are going to simulate it we are going to give theta as a value of 1 you can give whatever value you want to and then we are going to plot it so now the story is that you can make any stochastic differential equation you want to and simulate it and right now there is a lot of research in economics and finance which is just built around uh, making stochastic differential equations and then building a story around it so you could build a new stochastic differential equation and talk about say wheat prices follow your stoch stochastic differential equation or you could say uh, you know inflation in uh, rupee Indian rupee follows a particular differential equation so you could make uh, prices of anything you know so prices of milk are following a particular stochastic differential equation so this is a very active area of research right now As active area of research means that people are just making stochastic differential equations and spinning a story around it so it is a good time for you uh, if you understand what a stochastic differential equation is now to build your own story and uh, make your own stochastic differential equation so let us run this code in R and uh, see what it gives so we're going to select this and hit the run button you get some plot so you can simulate it multiple times so every time you simulate it it will give you something different so the idea is you could simulate it or you should simulate it a thousand times and then build confidence intervals around it and I have already explained in one of the lectures before how to do this Monte Carlo simulation as many times as you want to and then build uh, confidence intervals so this is it so we have simulated another stochastic differential equation